Louisiana farmers are about halfway through harvesting 1.1 million acres of soybeans. LSU Ag Center soybean specialist Dr. Ronnie Levy says had it not been for Hurricane Isaac, Louisiana farmers would have likely seen record yields. Much of the credit for those higher yields goes to research paid for by those farmers through the soy checkoff program. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us how that especially helps southern farmers in this edition of the Louisiana Soy Production Minute. As his late planted soybeans begin to come in, Stephen Logan notices a trend. The yields are above average in this area. We had enough rainfall and, and temperatures were, you know, were moderate this summer. We had some hot spells, but nothing extreme. And the yields are great. The quality is, is very good. And uh, we're excited about getting it out. Logan grows 700 acres of soybeans near Gillum, Louisiana. That's in the far northwestern corner of the state where soil types are more like those found in East Texas than in other parts of the Bayou State. Researchers develop soybean varieties specifically designed to grow and flourish in this region. Logan knows it's research he's paid for himself through the soy checkoff program every time he sells a bushel of beans. Oh, I think the varieties have improved immensely, especially for the varieties that we can plant, you know, here in the south. It's a return on investment Logan sees every harvest, and you see every time you go to the grocery store, because increased yields mean lower production costs, which ultimately mean lower prices when you go to the grocery store. So I, I think the research dollars are well spent and I much appreciated. It's another way the Soy Checkoff program works for farmers and for you. I'm Avery Davidson with the Louisiana Soy Production Minute. Thanks to the United Soybean Board, the LSU Ag Center, and the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation for bringing us that segment. To learn more about the Soy Checkoff Program, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.